Hey everyone, this is Grace. Hope you've been well. Just wanted to come on here and share with you some more house mouse items that I ended up purchasing over the weekend while they still had their $5 off 25 sale. So um, this actually I discovered while I was exploring the house mouse website. And by the way, it's house-mouse.com. Um, but anyway, I discovered that there was something called the attic in the website which is I guess some discounted final sales kind of items and so um, yeah I'll get to that in just a moment this was 50% off so purchase purchase this for a dollar eighty seven how beautiful is this perfect for fall and then I thought this was so perfect um, for winter so got these now I ended up purchasing the mystery junior grocers list because they said that they would just um, pick one from their samples and this was not in the 50% off so can I just say how pleased I was that I had purchased this so so adorable and one of the reasons why um, I had purchased a lot of these is um, on the website are some decoupage card kits but rather than spend money on those what I wanted to do was um, and I think I mentioned this in the last video, like say for this one, I could cut this and then mount this on a larger square and use this for um, cards instead of, you know, stamping out images or um, buying the decoupage kit, which can be a little bit pricey. So anyway, purchased that. And then they had the four seasons of cross stitch by House Mouse Designs. And um, these are some of the designs that you get. And I used to cross stitch. Um, one of the things that I did when I left med school was spend about one to two months just cross stitching just to process and just kind of, you know, take stock of what I want to do with the rest of my life now that I was no longer going to be studying to be a doctor. Aren't these adorable? So when I saw this, I thought, you know, this would actually be a really great kit, um, a book to have one of these days when I get back to cross-stitching. And, you know, it's one of those things where I knew if I wait until I'm ready to cross-stitch to order it, there's a good chance this may not be available, or if it is, it'll be very expensive. And that's what happened with the Peanuts by Leisure, um, I think it's Leisure Arts. The Peanuts cross stitch is so expensive. I think last time I checked on eBay, it was like, the book itself was going for like $30 or something insane like that. So, see like this one, Sweet Pea, I could totally see myself doing. And then aren't these adorable? So this is Autumn. So they have the Autumn and um, that's adorable, the candy corn. <laughs> and then an apple a day. Let's see what the winter ones are. So it's really cute, and then you can personalize it too with the recipient's name. I always end up initialing the projects that I make, and then I date it so I know when I did the cross stitch or when I completed it actually. So hold on, there's Aren't these? I'm just going to show it to you. So it looks like there's four. This is one of my favorites. They have that. This is adorable. Same with the star. Hold on. <laughs> All right, I think it's just easier if I show you the back of the book. So those are the spring designs, then the four summers and then three autumns, and then four winters for a total of 14 designs. So these are the four seasons, and this is from Annie's Cross Stitch. So I thought this was great. Um, this was on sale for $7.49, so there was that one. And then there was an old 2017 wall calendar that I purchased. This was, I think, $3.75. And these are the various pictures that, or the images that you have. And, oh, there's winter berry nipples. Um, now, you guessed it, for those of you who 
suspect that I purchased this so I could use the pictures. Yep, yep, that's why I got them. So can you imagine using these for um, scrapbooks or you know, certainly for other projects, or you can use some of these for cards if you'd like, or wall hangings, you know, the possibilities are endless, aren't they? Oh, and look, here is Meet Our Mice. For those of you who aren't too familiar with these mice, are whimsical mice, Maxwell, Amanda, Monica, Mudpie, and Muzzy, scurry and frolic through these calendar pages, bringing you a year filled with smiles. To learn a bit about each of our five mice characters, just read the blurb shown below each picture. And so Muzzy is fuzzy. He is a dark mushroom gray and has slightly longer hair than his friends. Muzzy is a very curious mouse and loves to investigate anything and everything. Amanda has fawn-colored fur and her ears are a bit large. She is the most innovative mouse in the gang, always full of creative energy and ideas. Amanda is also the caretaker in the group. Monica, you guys know, is one of my favorites. Monica is gray and has a small body and big feet. She is the tiniest mouse and tends to be sweet, innocent, and charming. Being the baby of the group, Monica is a bit spoiled with love. And the Maxwell is reddish brown and has a perpetually curled tail. So for those of you, if you see a curled tail, that would be Maxwell. A true prankster, Maxwell loves to play tricks on his friends. He loves to make others laugh, so Maxwell's pranks are harmless and all in good fun. Maxwell, incidentally, is the mouse that always is, you know, popping balloons while his friends are asleep. Mud Pie has brown fur and a nick in his left ear. His two favorite activities are eating and sleeping. He's a true mouse potato. He could use a little exercise, but isn't likely to begin a fitness routine anytime soon. So cute, huh? And then I love how it says, printed in Vermont on recycled paper. So that was three seventy-five. This was four, no, seven forty-nine. Now let me show you what I purchased. And one of the other things that I had ordered was a medium-sized T-shirt, um, but apparently they sold out in between the time that I ordered it, and it was getting, you know, filled. So this deluxe bag, can you believe it? Was only ten dollars. It's one of those big, huge deluxe bags. And this one says two-tone, which I actually like. I like it better than, oh, there's a little bit of dust. Oh, well, it's like some markings that I can, yeah. Anyway, so um, I had ordered two, and I was wondering if they were going to send the same design or if it was going to be one of a different design. And they did not disappoint. They sent two separate designs. And so, look, this is a Happy Hopper. And look, she's cross-stitching. How appropriate since I cross-stitch, right? <laughs> and then this one is the house mouse one. How adorable is this? I was so pleased. So these are mystery um, totes. So when you go into the attic um, on the left-hand you know, menu, there's a little thing that says attic. You click that, and then there's a bunch of final clearance items kind of thing. And this one had like a big question mark on the item and basically it means that they'll just pick whatever you know and they said it could be from a house mouse design it could be from a happy hopper or it could be from the gruffies and so i was so pleased that my two you know two of my favorite animals the house mouse as well as the bunny uh, made it so aren't they so cute this is such a great tote bag i'm and it's about 19 inches um wide so it you can use this as a grocery bag. You guys know now that paper grading season has begun for me, I can use this uh, for my papers, a whole slew of things. And I love how it's two-toned. So unfortunately, the $5 off of 25 sale is no longer going on. But I believe this deal is still available in which the tote bags are $10. So if you want to take advantage of that and the mystery one, you won't, you may get this one, but you may also get a different, you know, junior groceries list. So, um, yeah, but just want to share with you some house mouse, um, purchases that I made over the weekend. Um, just in case some of you want to try it out, not only the tote bags, which were $10, but the, those of you who cross stitch, these are adorable. So seven forty nine, and then this with all of these pictures was 
three, I think seventy five. And again, you guys know this was a dollar eighty nine and or eighty seven. I got these primarily to certainly I can use these as lists, but I'm planning on only using this and then cutting this and using that portion for cards. So anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Thank you, everyone. God bless.